Number one on the list is the PowerTech 5-in-1 setup gauge. You'll use this in the shop for various reasons. Number one, at the table saw, you can use these slots that are graduated at 1 8 inch increments to set up the height of your blade. Now, the only drawback to this is it won't set up on its own like the DFM setup gauge, but the DFM is a one use type tool and this is a five in one so you just kind of weigh your options there but it's really not that hard to hold it while you set your blade height number two this sliding gauge will let you set depths or heights of things like router bits or you can do half laps or anything like that because the bottom is exactly whatever the top is so if you're setting the the bottom depth here that whatever it's sticking out on the top is going to be the same next is the side gauges on here is going to let you set your bit heights at the router fixed or plunge base or your router table this is really where this little gauge shines in my opinion all you have to do is set this on top of your router table or the base of your router set that bit height and you're off and running super easy to use if you need to check the angle of your chisels, there are four places to do that on here. A 30 degree, a 60 degree, a 40 degree, and a 25 degree for those chisels. Also, if you sharpen your own drill bits, there's a few places to check the angle on those. Whether you're using 118 degrees, 98, 82, or 136. For under 30 bucks, this thing is handy as a shirt pocket. Next up is this Infinity Router Bit Vice. If you don't have one of these, this is a finger saver. This is a must have. If you have router bits and you need to change those bearings out, it has slots for quarter inch, eight millimeter, and half inch size bits. And what this does, one side is for loosening the bolt that holds that bearing in, the other side is for tightening it back down. If you've ever tried to hold one by hand and break that loose, sometimes it's impossible. You don't wanna use pliers on the shaft of that router bit because it's gonna tear it up. It's gonna basically make indentions and tear that metal so you want something to hold that without messing it up and that's where this comes in it has a one-way grip in there so on one side it's loosening when you put that on there that's going to allow it to turn to the right righty tighty but it will not let it go left for loosening it's going to catch so you'll be able to take and remove that bearing easily then when you get ready to put one back on if you're swapping sizes you're just going to flip that around use the tightening side that will allow it to go lefty loosey but not right it's going to basically clamp it in there and then you'll be able to snug that up this thing is, again, handy as a shirt pocket. Next on the list, something you young bucks have no idea about, but when you start getting older, you start losing your eyesight, especially to see small, fine details. That's where this little jewel comes into place. This is a watchmaker's inspection magnifier. It magnifies 20X. Now here's where I use this in the shop, especially when I'm trying to read instructions on something. I can't really see that fine print sometimes. How long is the warranty on that? I ain't got my peepers out here or my spectacles if you're old enough. Ugh. A limited two year. This helps you get down and read that stuff pretty easy. Where I use this the most is if I have a router bit and it has the model number on there, I need to reorder that. I can look through this glass and actually read it where I can't read it just with my plain eyesight. You can also use this to inspect your saw blades to see if a piece of that carbide got chipped when you did hit that piece of metal. Or just in general, do you can see here, this blade is pretty dirty. I need to clean this one. If you combine that with your phone zoom feature, you can zoom in and really get a really magnified look at what whatever you're trying to see. If you're trying to inspect a blade, if it's maybe gotten damaged or a bit that maybe got cracked or anything like that, this will help you find that. Also, you can use these to check your router bits to see how dull they are, if you've messed them up, if you hit something. So this is a really little handy tool for less than 10 bucks. You gotta pick it up. You can throw this in a toolbox or a drawer or something like that, but basically all you're doing is you can even do like the old timey jewelers, you know, they, they got that stuff they're looking at like this. It's super handy. Next up is this Craig portable crosscut jig. This is a handy little tool if you don't have a crosscut sled or if you've been old schooling it with a, like a speed square to try to get your square cuts. That works as far as fast setup goes, but it leaves a little bit to skill and this will help you with that especially if you're a beginner because it gives you a little bit of a, a guide starting out on the cut especially that first part there it helps square that saw up to the stock that you're cutting and then you can make those cuts it even has like a blade set they call it a cut line indicator or something this is kind of gimmicky this little plastic thing that slides out they should have just left that off but as far as cutting cross cut square this will work and it gives you a 45 degree cross cut which is super handy to have this is a nice little jig to have in the shop especially if you just want to make good square cuts with your circular saw you got to see number five but first let me tell you about this before we move on be sure and check out my website 731bookworks.com store we have easy to follow build plans with step-by-step -step instructions to help you make awesome projects Check out our plan bundles where you get more for your money because I've included some of the most popular plans in bundles so that it helps you pick up everything you need to get started. 
And yes, you can build things and sell those projects based off my plans. If you use the code you see on the screen right now, you'll get 20% off any order. All right, go check us out. Number five on the list is a two-in-one countersink and driver bit. I like this because, one, it's made in the USA right there in the great state of Montana, and it's a two-in-one. So if you do a lot of countersink, you know how frustrating it is to swap back and forth on bits, especially if you only have one drill. This is super handy because you have the driver bit on one end, and then you flip it over, and you have the countersink on the other. And they're really good bits. They drill a nice, clean hole. And then on the driver bit side, you can swap those out for any quarter-inch drive. So if you're using star drive or anything like that, like this nice little DeWalt set, you can put any star drive or any other flat, Phillips, whatever you're using, and this will adapt to that. The way this two-in-one bit works is similar to an air fitting or a pneumatic fitting. Push forward on this little brass fitting, and you can remove the bit flip it over put the other end in and then pull back and that locks it in place you can also again swap those bits out with an allen key the allen key is not necessary to be there because these are magnetic so it'll hold your bits in there magnetically but for a little extra security you can use that allen key make sure your bit doesn't come out and that's very frustrating when it happens so it's nice that they added that they sell this in a set for a little over twenty dollars and it comes with extra drill bits and driver bits that's one i would recommend I'll drop a link in the description to everything you've seen today or the pinned comment to help you find these. If you like this video, you'll love five tools you've never seen before. Click that box, click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Also, check that other one out. It's another one of my favorites.